Hey everybody, welcome to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron and today we're taking some ribs and we're gonna make them teriyaki style. You know, sometimes you just get tired of the same old, same old recipe when you're barbecuing. So, you know what? If you wanna try these teriyaki ribs, come along with us. Stay tuned. So we were able to pick these up on sale for only $1.77 a pound from our local grocery store, HEB for you guys in Texas. They were on sale last week for $1.77 a pound. So they're not as meaty as you'd like them to be, but they still have some pretty good meat on them. One's a little bit thinner, one's a little bit thicker. So we'll get these cut open, get them ready to go. So first thing we're gonna do is pat these things dry with a paper towel. We don't wash them off in the sink or anything like that. Just pat the, pat the moisture off of them. Then of course, we're gonna add back a binder here in a minute. All right, first thing we're gonna do here is get this trimmed up a little bit. We're gonna take this little bit of Mohawk meat off of here, get that trimmed up. That's gonna be our chef's snack after we're done here. Got that done, get this Mohawk pulled off of here. All right, and we'll save that because we're gonna cook those. And just like anything else, there's several different ways to do this membrane. Some people cross batch it and cook it that way. I like to remove it. Now you can take a you can take a kitchen butter knife, just stick it under the edge and pull it up. What I prefer to do is to just take a little paper towel, get you an edge up on the end, grab it with that paper towel so you can hold on to it, get it loosened up, and then just give it a good pull and that membrane comes off, just like that, done. All right, we got that done. Now I'd just like to take them a little bit and square them off, just for presentation purposes. So we'll take a little bit of that little bit of flap of meat there off. Got a little fat down here at the end. All right, so we got the little bit of stuff, the trim off that we wanted to get trimmed off. Now we're gonna put our binder on. Our binder that we're using today is mustard. If you don't like mustard, you definitely can use something different. You can use a little bit of olive oil. You can use a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. You can use, you can use anything that you'd like. Just, we like mustard because it works pretty darn good as a binder. So again, not too thick. You wanna do both sides. We'll flip it over. Get a little bit more on there. All right, for the rubs today, we're gonna use Uncle Steve's Shake, Lucky Shake, and we're also gonna use a teriyaki blend. It's called Maui Waui from Spiceology. We'll have links in the description for both of those in case you're interested, but we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put the Maui Waui on first, and we're gonna do the non-presentation side down. Do that side first. So we're just gonna sprinkle this on heavy, just like that. Then to give it just a little bit of a kick, we'll go on with the Uncle Steve Shake Lucky Shake. Just pat that in a little bit. All right, get it flipped over. All right, we'll just barely pat this in, and then we're just gonna let this sit right here on the countertop for about 10 or 15 minutes and let it sweat. You'll see it when you come back, instead of having the dry on the rub, it'll all it'll start sucking some of that juice out of those ribs, and it'll have a, a wet sheen to it, and then they'll be ready to go on to the smoker. So we'll go out there, we'll get the yoder up to temp, we'll bring you guys back when we put them on. All right, we got these rubbed up, they're ready to go on. As you can tell, they are sweated in, ready to go onto that smoker. We got it at 250 degrees, running B&B &B competition blend pellets. Let's get these things on there. All right, like we said, we're running at 250 degrees. We're gonna cook these on the top shelf of this Yoder. So we'll get those put on here. Remember, how you arrange this on the smoker is how they're gonna cook. So you wanna make sure you bunch it up or pull it out, whichever way you prefer, for mine bunched up so it cooks evenly. If you lay it on there and it looks like this, when you take it off, it's gonna look like this. So make sure that you get it straight on there like you want it before it starts to set in. All right, so like we said, we're gonna roll these at 250 degrees. 
about two hours before we even check in on them. We are not using water in this pit. We want to make sure that they dry out. We'll come and check and make sure that the uh, rub is, is dry and set, and then we might do some spritzing after that. So we'll see you guys in about two hours. All right, the ribs have been on for about two hours. We're gonna look in, see where we're at, see if the bark is set, and see if it's ready to spritz. If it's ready to spritz, we do have half pineapple juice, half apple cider vinegar ready to spritz on. So let's look at them. All right, let's check these things out here. Oh yeah, they're looking pretty good. Let me bring you in and let you see them. As you can see, they're starting to dry out a little bit. Bark doesn't move around, they're ready to spritz. So we're gonna get them spritz up and get them ready to go. So as long as we keep them moist, we shouldn't have to wrap them. So we're gonna probably spritz about every 30, 45 minutes or so to make sure that they're coming along well. All right, so we'll keep these rolling at 250 degrees. We'll come out and spritz them. We're not gonna bring you back for every one of the spritzes, but when we do put a glaze on them, we'll bring you back. So we'll see you guys about an hour and a half or so. So the glaze that we're gonna make for these ribs is pretty simple. We're gonna use a teriyaki sauce or a marinade. You can use any brand that you want. We picked up a Kinder's from the store and then we're gonna cut it down, kind of thin it out with some, some pineapple juice. So all you gotta do is pour your marinade in. As you can see, it's pretty thick. And then we're just gonna take this pineapple juice, put a little bit at a time here and cut it down until you get a more runny consistency. If you, it runs off the fork pretty easily, you pretty much got it where you want it. So you can either brush this on out of the, out of the container that you make it in, or you can put it in one of these squeeze things like I do. I like to use this marinade for other stuff. So what I don't want to do is have cross contamination by putting my brush into the container, onto the ribs, and then back into the container again. So I put it in a little squirt bottle, whatever I have left, I'll use it for fried rice or, or for chicken or something like that. So we'll use it just like this, squirt it on, and then we'll use the brush to brush it out if we need to, and uh, we'll get it put on. All right, let's get these things glazed up. Oh, they're looking good. Got pretty good pullback coming along. They are looking good. So let's get a glaze on them. So normally we'd come out and probably glaze it one time. We're probably gonna glaze this one twice because we, like I said before, we want that sticky exterior. So we'll just put the glaze on and then just kind of rub it in here. You don't want to go too hard with it because you don't want to rub all your, all your seasoning off, but we're going to definitely get a good coat of this on the top of these ribs. All right, we got them glazed up. We'll let them go for about 15 minutes, get tacky again, and then we'll come back and we'll glaze them one more time. And uh, we'll bring you back for that. All right, we're gonna get one more dousing of the glaze done. Get some on there. Oh yeah. Man, these ribs are looking good. All right, let me bring you in and let you look at this color. They look good. Look at that rib. Can't wait to put these in my mouth. All right, we'll bring you guys back for the finish. All right, four and a half hours in, these ribs should be done. Let's take a peek at them. All right, let's look at this. Oh yeah, the color looks good. Let's check them, see if they're done. Do the old bend test here. Yeah, they bend, just starting to pull away right here. Yeah, those are done. All right, so we're gonna pull these off, tin them with full and let them rest for a little bit. We'll bring you guys back for the cut and the taste. See you in a minute. All right, let's get into these things and see how we did. Best way to do these is flip them over so you can see the bones. Let's get in there. You see that, that smoke ring right there? Yeah, did a good job. Hey, Yoda, turn that out. All right, let's get a taste of this thing. Again, hopefully you see that, that smoke ring on there. Uh, let's take a bite of this thing. Mmm. Pull it away. Mmm. It's got that sweet, it's got that savory. That's a dang good rib. You guys need to give this a shot. It's not overpowering on the on the teriyaki side. It's just got a little sweet, a little savory. I tell you what, it's it's delicious. It's different. It's different than than what it would be with a barbecue sauce or something on top of it. But man, that's a dang good rib. 
you guys do give that a try. Hey, if you hadn't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom, and we'll see you guys on the next cook. Thanks for watching. Mmm. Damn, that's good.